I'm going to show you what this thing is doing, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Cold start choke up. I'm going to show you guys how to fix this for $20 in one tool. And we're going to jump into that right now, buddy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for $20 on Amazon, you can get this kit right here. It comes with an air filter, too, because, as you guys see, this one, when I got it, has no air filter. So it's good that we got an air filter. Comes with brand new fuel lines, a few fuel filters, and two primer bulbs, and a brand new carburetor. Link down in the description for this $20. No extra charge to you, it helps out the channel. And if you got an Echo, the T models, um, it's gonna work out really, really great for you. Now, to be honest, the only thing we're gonna need is a T25. And that's one, two right here. It's gonna be a super simple, super quick repair. And we should have your leaf blower back up and running in no time at all. So we're gonna start by removing, I'm gonna use analog, you know, no speed stuff, no impact, no electric screwdriver today. Just to show you guys, you know, go to the swap meet, Walmart, pick up one of these for like five bucks. It doesn't matter what brand you use, T25. I think technically it requires a T27, but you know what? We use a T25 here because I don't know why because I feel like it that's why so once we remove these two bolts here ladies and gentlemen are you following along I know this is a little technical but we're gonna get it done I promise you one and two I'm not even gonna use pliers that's how much I swear to do the one tool unloop the throttle not bad not bad i'm gonna zoom on in now we're gonna open this so to be honest all this extra stuff all this fuel lines and the spark plug uh the spark plug's probably shit Let's check the brand anyways yeah no name brand so i mean if it's desperate times and you need it put it in but I don't recommend it. We're only gonna take out the fuel filter. Uh, maybe the gaskets too, we'll probably replace that. But now this, this is all extra stuff I could use for a different machine. So right there, unless you need to replace yours, which I already did, it don't matter. So that's all extra for me. The spark plug's the only thing in here that's kind of, you know, caca. So look at that, look at this beauty i love looking at brand new carburetors they're so nice so pretty look at that look at that look at that it looks a little different the main reason i gotta do this because i think it needs to be adjusted but on this echo i don't have the right adjustment for this thing so we're just putting a brand new one on there and like i said it looks beautiful i love it i love it we want the obviously the adjustment and the adjuster stick it out if they're in here how are you going to adjust it right so that's a good rule you know if you got if you can't reach it it's probably not where it's supposed to be so this gasket obviously this is the heat shield gasket so we're just going to put that back on like that and then you know what i pulled out those new gaskets i might as well use one um what are we looking at here we're going to use this one put it on there and now we're just gonna go through right here and through right here and now from there we're gonna feel and see which one of these is suck out and which one's blowing so right there I'm pressing and nothing's coming down I hold this in place here so now we're gonna do this right. We're gonna put these bolts back through the cover, back through the cover plate. 
flip it upside down. Now put that gasket on over these bolts, just like so. Flip it back right, put them through. And now from here, ladies and gentlemen, we can get to lining it up. So bear with me. We are going to get this thing running and we're going to blow some dirt around because I don't have leaves in the desert here on my property. So, but you know what we do got? We got dirt. And that's what the air filter is important for here in the desert too. So I like to go one side a little tight, the other side match it up, the other side go back match it up, and this one now we're going to go all the way tight, and then go back and finish that side. No need to overwork yourself and destroy it, just a little past hand tight will work. Go ahead and put this new filter on. Oh, remove these old gaskets here on the new other new one put the filter in just like that Make sure you're putting this back on right Screw it up These echoes they're not bad backpack blowers, but I didn't like the original stock carburetor. Just, even with that fancy adjustment set, it doesn't have that special Echo one. So we're gonna prime this up a little bit. Zoom you out and try to start her. See, what I think is gonna be an easy video turns out to be a pain in my ass. So honestly, I'm gonna get you over here and show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be saying, Oh, Andrew, if you put an OEM carburetor, it wouldn't rub. But you can see right there where I'm talking about, even with the OEM carburetor, obviously it's still rubbed a hell of a lot to wear it down. So it was either bad engineering or something else, but it was already rubbed really hard. Let's see if you can see that. I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that, though. So never the fear. So I'm going to shave that off and then we're going to come back to it. Sun setting. My knife's dull as shit. And um, I don't want to take this off and take it and grind it down. So I'm just going to melt it and form it. Pretty simple procedure. You could do this even with the dullest of knives. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh my god, Andrew, what are you doing? But you know what? They made it bad. I didn't do it. Okay. I'm actually really happy with that. I think it made a big difference. And it's still hot. Jesus Christ. That's what I get for putting my finger on it. So now we're going to see if it worked. So for all you guys who said I'm crazy and smoking crack rocks for doing that, check this out. Shaving it down a little bit, freed it up. Now it's moving good. I know this video is a lie now, saying that only one tool. We had to bust out a torch and a knife. And, um, but you know what? That's just the way it is.
video helped you out fixing your Echo backpack blower, I would appreciate it if you guys smash that like button. Also, you gotta hit that subscribe button for me, guys. It's been great. I love working on small engines. I got many, 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 many more coming. I got another actually handheld Echo backpack. Not a, I got another Echo handheld blower, which I'm gonna repair, and it looks brand new. So stay tuned for that. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna show you that right now. Check this thing out. Brand new looking Echo PB250. So we're gonna figure out what's wrong with this. As a matter of fact, coming up in a video, I got a steel chainsaw repair coming up too. Oh my God, if you guys like small engine repair videos, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the channel for you. I'm just so excited. I love doing this. I love making videos. I love showing you guys that how to fix it on the cheaper side of things rather than having an expensive shop and expensive tools. You know, like today we did a little self-modification. You're normally not supposed to do that, but there's no point to go out and spend a bunch of money or doing a lot more work for something you can do that's not really gonna hurt the machine, as you guys heard and saw. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simply Small Engine Repair, and I appreciate you guys so much for taking the time and watching this video. If you guys made it all the way through, my heart goes out to you. Thank you guys so much. And without further ado, I'll see you next time. Bye.